Thank you, Mrs. Pruggle, to be with us today and to answer to some of our questions. Could you please tell us what are the threats and abuses faced by women in conflict areas nowadays? Well, those threats and abuses are, of course, extensive. We have uh, evidence of uh, sexual violence against men, uh, against women and men, I should say, right? This is actually uh, quite common also, uh, coming from all corners of the world, including uh, from Nigeria, northern Nigeria. We uh, have uh, reports from Libya, from uh, Syria, from uh, the various cons conflict spots around the world. Um, and the reason we have uh, put on this conference is to commemorate uh, the Security Council Resolution 1325, which uh, I believe has been one of the really seminal uh, resolutions uh, that the Security Council has put forward. Uh, what is important here is, is to recall that there is actually very, very strong evidence of a correlation between uh, uh, the likelihood that a country is going to war or is resolving its conflicts violently and the degree to which there's gender equality in this country. Uh, and, and given that we know that, uh, it seems that uh, gender relations matter uh, very importantly in uh, the way in which uh, countries know how to resolve conflicts. So the capacity of a country, of a community to resolve conflicts ultimately depends on the status of women. And uh, it's, it's using this insight in order to also uh, help prevent uh, violent conflict, in order to uh, enhance the capacity uh, of communities uh, to uh, resolve conflict. Uh, this is uh, one of the elements that I would hope personally that uh, this conference and also the implementation of 1325 is going to uh, push forward. And what can be done to prevent such abuses committed against women and as well what can be done to reintegrate them or to support them? Yes. Um, you know, ultimately these questions of prevention are very, very difficult. Obviously we've had uh, violence against women for centuries. Um, and uh, violence against women in war also very often it has been uh, considered to be kind of a natural right of the victor to uh, be able to rape the women that uh, uh, of, the, of the country that were conquered. Um, in the end this uh, is a matter of, of um, gender relations more broadly. Um, before conflict, during conflict, as well as after conflict. Uh, because the, the idea that there is an entitlement uh, to raping women and to committing sexual violence is something that is ingrained in our societies. So, so the, the struggle ultimately is actually a struggle over gender equality more broadly. Uh, and, and the hope is that if gender equality is implemented in different countries, then the incidence of sexual violence and of abuses would be uh, become much less thinkable. Uh, we'll always have violence in some f some way, but uh, what is what is so uh, egregious now is is the extent of these and and uh, the outrageousness of the kind of violence that is taking place. Thank you very much. You're welcome.